Shalom. All praises go to the Most High, Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai. Double honor sent to the elders at Great Millstone for the teachings and the scriptures. And Shalom to the sincere Akim across the world. Now, I said I would do a quick video, a real quick one, about the word family in this book, the Zondervan Bible Compact Dictionary. Right? It says this. Right here. Family. The concept of the family in the Bible differs from the modern institution. The Hebrew family was larger than families today, including the father of the household, his parents, if they live in, his wife or his wives, his wife or wives and children, <laughs> meaning there was more than one wife. Okay, so that's legal. And uh, it's, it's, it's a normal thing. Okay. His daughters and his sons-in-law, slaves, because the Hebrews had slaves, guests and foreigners under his protection. Those are the Israelite foreigners who came to sojourn from maybe, you know, France. I mean, uh, I wanted to say in this age, but in those days, just to... Uh, somebody from another land maybe you're a you're a Manassite and uh, one of your brothers from Natali came you know from another land for example or vice versa anyway marriage was arranged by the father of the groom meaning the father of the daughter and the family of the bride oh, oh the father of the man and the family of the bride, yeah, yeah, so like it, brother. For whom a dowry or purchase uh, money was paid to the father, Genesis 24, reference. Polygamy and um, concubinage were practiced, meaning um, you can have a different wife, you know, m multiple wives. Though not favored by the Most High, that's a lie. That's a lie. That's a bull-faced lie. You see? Here they going off. This is a bold-faced lie. Because Jacob had the four wives. Uh, uh, Abraham, the forefather Abraham, he had uh, multiple wives, man. He had maybe, it was something like four or something, or five. And then Sarah, which, which would make six or five. I didn't actually count, but he had more. He had more women. Egyptian women and one bond woman was Hagar who bo who bore him Ishmael and Sarah bore him um, Isaac going on this is a filthy 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 Edomite lie though not favored by God what a goddamn devil anyway the husband could divorce the wife but she could not divorce him you see this is how it actually is supposed to be the father of a family had the power of life and death over his children. That is how it's supposed to be. Because nowadays, the woman have the power over life and death over the children. That's why she can commit abortion. And uh, let's say she gets into a fight and she's pregnant and she loses the child. The person that she got uh, uh, into a fight with is going to be charged for murder. But wait a minute. You're committing adult, I mean, uh, abortions. And it's not murder because it doesn't benefit the, them. They just want to put somebody in jail. That's the shit. You know, that's it. Because when it's abortion time, it's not murder. But when you, when she gets uh, uh, caught up in a scuffle or a fight, then it, then it is murder. You know? Anyway, to dishonor a parent was punishable by death. <laughs> Reverence to Exodus chapter 21, 15 and 17 and this though uh, not favored by God that's a bold-faced lie because we can get it right here uh, Exodus 21 uh, and 10 if he take him another wife her food her raiment and her duty of marriage which is sex shall he not diminish and if he do not these three things then she shall go out free without money and to show you that they're goddamn liars, the so-called white man is a liar. He puts truth, but in his truth, he always has them lies. Because you can check that out in the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 21. Um, no, no, no. 
22. Now check this out. Deuteronomy 22. I'll go here. Deuteronomy 22. Verse 30. Now check this out. A man shall not take his father's wife, nor discover his father's skirt. So if your father has a little pretty young thing, you're not supposed to have sex with your father's wife. That is what Reuben did with Jacob. Reuben had went into one of his concubines and slept with her. With her. That's why the Most High took away the firstborn right from Reuben and gave it to Judah. So a man is allowed to have multiple wives and the Most High is not actually hating on that because he's the one that supplied that theory because Ab because uh, Abraham, um, um, King David did it, King Solomon did it, even though he started to worship those women, King Saul did it also, he had multiple wives. Uh, King David had multiple wives, so this is a bold-faced lie. This is a, this is basically an abomination, man. This is a lie, anyway. To dishonor a parent of his death. Okay, the New Testament concept concept followed that of the Old Testament, so it's the same. Parents and children, husband and wives, master and slave were enjoined to live together in harmony and love. Ephesians chapter 5 verse 22 and also chapter 6 verse 9. So yeah, there you have it. The word family. The man is actually the boss of the family. And with that, I'm going to say all praises to the Most High, Yahweh, Baha Shem, Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the elders of great millstones, of course, and shalom to the sincere Akim.